So now that you've learned the history of Unicorn P, if you haven't yet, be sure to click on my face to learn. There will be a test. It's now time to take an in-depth look at the Unicorn P and what makes it so magical. Let's watch some Unicorn P in action. What do you say? Uh -huh. Yeah, you want to get your nail porn on, don't ya? Unicorn P is a sheer, buildable, highly saturated shimmer equipped with multifaceted pigments that travel across the color spectrum, ranging from green to yellow to gold to orange to red to purple to oh, take me now, unicorn! That was my attempt at a sexy voice. What do you mean you're not sexually attracted to nail polish? Alright people of YouTube, let's get down to it. First of all, yes, my nails are yellow. Thank you, yellow is the color of sunshine. Please watch this video if you're getting ready to comment that I should clean my nails because I don't need to clean them. They're not dirty. The only thing that's dirty here is the look of one coat of unicorn pee on my nails. As you may or may not know, unicorn pee is very, very thin in formula. In fact, it's kind of useless to wear by itself, as I've discovered. One coat looks like red dirt. Two coats looks like when your period's just started. Minus the shimmer. Three coats is okay, but there's still a couple bald patches. It's like when your dad's beginning to get old and he's in denial that there's bald patches on his head. So I had a fourth coat because what I really wanted was to see what unicorn pee looks like completely opaque, but the answer is it's not an opaque nail polish. It's just like not how it was made. Accept it and move on. I add a glossy top coat so I can make those sparkles even sparklier. Now this is where the magic happens, kids. It's when you take a light and you angle it all the way over to the side and you get this like yellow far end stretch of the rainbow. Then you move the light around and magical things happen on camera. Whoa, this polish is so trippy, your eyes are playing tricks on you. Nah, I'm just kidding, I use the stabilization effect too much in my editing software and my hands just look retarded. Mmm, look at that shimmer and shift. You can kind of see it reaching all the way to green and then it goes all the way back to a bright magenta purplish red color. Alright, so that's four coats of unicorn pee. Majestic or not so majestic? You be the judge. Now let's try unicorn pee over black nail polish because black is the new unicorn pee. Or unicorn pee is the new black? I don't know, how is that supposed to go again? And that's just one coat over black, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I said gentlemen. I know you're out there, tuning into some late night nail porn. Don't worry, I won't tell your wife. Oh, hello there, Shifty McShifty. You can see that Shifty transition reach all the way to super bright green. Like my nails are the Hulk, or the Green Goblin. Whichever one is more badass, you choose. Oh yeah, I'm definitely failing this color combo. Oh, it's so beautiful over black, I'm gonna die. Dead, that's it. Died, I'm deceased. Let's try it over a bright royal slash cobalt blue, just for fun. Cause we have fun on this channel. Here's one coat of pee over blue. Oh, I think I'm drowning in a magical ocean. I added two coats, cause, yeah, I don't know. It just wasn't as potent as over the black nail polish. In fact, I know it looks terrible over yellow like I did on these fire nails. So I guess it has something to do with the darkness of the base coat you choose. Piece of advice, only layer this over dark colors. The lighter the base coat, the less you will see the color shifting ways of the unicorn pee, and probably the dirtier it would look. I imagine this would look absolutely terrible over white. The shift is definitely not as apparent over royal blue as it is over black, but you don't really get that neon bright green action going on at all. Oh shit guys, look at my background, it's gold hollow poster board. All of a sudden I just forgot what this video was about. So do I even like this polish? I don't know, but you could probably maybe find out what I'm thinking if you watch my other video on the official history of the unicorn pee. For now, here's some more of my face. Mom, I want to be a unicorn.
unicorn. She's like falling asleep when I'm holding her. <laughs> this is the world's most tolerant cat. Say bye everyone, subscribe to our channel so I can go to college. Thank you very much. You wanna make out? That was a yes. <laughs>